Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Or as we like to call it on my channel, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra 5 Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus 3.0. Samsung Knights, hear me and rejoice, okay? This is our time of the year. Apple Mafia, Xiaomi Warlords, Google Gangsters, Vivo Triads, the Oppo Regime, OnePlus Soldados. I need all of y'all to stand down and stand by. Samsung Knights, all right, do the secret Samsung Knights handshake. If you don't know it, make something up. Now, I know everybody's seen the unpacked event. We all know the specs, but I gotta go through them just in case you missed it. Now, this phone starts at 1,300 bucks. I repeat, 1,300 bucks. Now, if y'all seen my last two reviews, Remember the bet that I made? I still get to keep my left testicle. I told y'all you was gonna have to pay to play. You gotta pay to play. Now this phone comes with a bunch of different colors. You got green, blue, orange, violet, yellow, black, and gray. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch dynamic LTPO AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3088. That is 501 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. You got the new Gorilla Glass armor on the front for protection with the titanium frame and Gorilla Glass on the back. Okay, you got HDR10 plus. It goes up to 2600 nits brightness and you got a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 with the Adreno 750 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. And on a quick side note, Y'all see me review a lot of phones with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. That chipset is so beastly. Now we got it on a Galaxy phone. It is officially game over. Now this phone has 12 gigs of RAM. You can get 256, 512, or one terabyte of storage. No micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 14 with one UI 6.1 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 45 watt fast charge. That means you can charge this phone from zero to 65% in 30 minutes. Now you also got 15 watt wireless charge and you got reverse wireless charge, also known as power share. For the cameras, on the rear you got a quad setup. So you got a 200 megapixel wide angle, 50 megapixel telephoto, 10 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle. Now you can shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second or 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers. It does have a quad DAC, 32 bit high res audio. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, Samsung DeX and wireless DeX, and of course, the Bluetooth S Pen. Now you're gonna get seven years of guaranteed updates. All of that for 1300 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I white love shoes. My white shoes. Calm down. Okay, here we go. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra 5 Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme, aka Galactus 3.0. Now, if you're wondering why we didn't change the name, Samsung has not changed the back design since the S22 and the S23. So we can't call it Unicron just yet. Fortunately and unfortunately, the back looks exactly the same. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute, why that's a good thing and a bad thing. All right, here we go. As far as the presentation, nice black box. Y'all know I like that, giggity. Inside, let's see what you get. Now this one is on Verizon. So you get a little SIM tray. This is gonna be your usual book. <laughs> okay, not the books, usual book and shit. This is gonna be USB. Type-C, the USB Type-C charging cable. All right, shoes, you wanna inspect that? Okay, do your thing. And of course, your device. And that's pretty much it, <laughs> okay? Now, I'm gonna save all of my negative comments until I do my full review, okay? Right now, this is a love fest. Right. Here it is. Now, let's get a little wipe down. Okay. Bang. The Samsung Galaxy S24 in titanium this is crazy now real quick who y'all think did the titanium the best so far we got one titanium phone from xiaomi one from apple i know apple mafia i know y'all got a lot to say in the comments we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna discuss that okay there's a lot of a lot of hate going on right now who y'all think did the titanium the best personally 
just going by looks, I like the Galaxy. Okay, now this big camera, you know, the stove setup, it's decent. You know, Apple is Apple. I ain't mad at them. But the back of this phone to me just looks so elegant. Let's do the smell test on this real quick. Mm! It smells like another W for Samsung. Okay, now, real quick, let's talk about the back of the phone. Here's the S22 and S23. One thing that I do say, uh, let me say it like this. This is a good thing and a bad thing, okay? Now imagine if last year's Galaxy looked like this. Okay, if this was last year's Galaxy and then this is this year's Galaxy, your phone is gonna look so outdated. By Samsung keeping the design exactly the same, you could pull up with a Galaxy S22 and it's still gonna look like the top dog from Samsung. So I like that. Now, it is getting kind of boring every year getting the same design, but you know the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So Samsung, um, they going with that theory. This phone right here, the feeling, I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. It just feels like a cold slab of titanium. I love it. Now Samsung finally ditched the curved displays, okay? We got a flat slab right there. Now I actually been using this phone all day. Let's wipe it down on the front. Look at this. Now I got my animated always on display. You now have some widgets you can throw on the lock screen. Very uh, similar to Apple. <laughs> okay, it is what it is. Look, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm not gonna roast. I'm not gonna roast anything just yet. Let's look around the phone on one side. You got your power button, nice and low, Google. Okay, this is where it belongs. Volume up and down. One thing missing on this phone is an IR blaster. Now, if you notice, check this out. Basically, every phone that I reviewed so far this year, including the uh, IQ12 that I actually sold, all of these phones have IR blasters. And it's kind of disappointing because Samsung originally pioneered the IR blasters, okay? We had them back in the days. Samsung sells a bunch of products. You got projectors, gaming monitors, a bunch of different products on deck that could use an IR blaster on the phone. I don't understand why they don't uh, bring that back. It is what it is, but on the top, okay? This side, nice and clean. The bottom, okay, there's your SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot, little cutout for the speaker. And of course, the Bluetooth S Pen, and you can write on the screen when it's off. Okay, now, I'm not gonna turn this into a full review, but let's just go through some of the basics. Okay, in the back, there's your quad camera setup also, LED flash, minimum branding. This is the thing of beauty right here. Now, one quick side note, if you hear some humming in the background, I'm in my basement, and it's actually the coldest day of the year, if, if you, let me see. It's 24 degrees out, <laughs> outside right now, so my boiler's on working overtime. So if y'all hear that little humming in the background, there's nothing I can do about that. Just bear with me. All right. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Of course, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You do got face unlock. Now I gotta, let me see, I gotta set that up. I, I'm wearing my glasses, but I'll set it up again without my glasses. And you got your fingerprint sensor. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. All right, so I just reset my face data. So let's try that again. Face unlock, there it is. Let's see if we get three in a row. Okay, one more, there it is. And of course, the on-screen fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. You can do that with the screen off or on. Okay, so if it's off, bong just like that, or if it's on. Now there's my animated always on display. Got this nice little vibrant uh, lock screen wallpaper. And you have a little live wallpaper right there too. A little live wallpaper. <laughs> that came out funny. All right, swipe over once. There's your Google homepage. Okay. Android 14, all of the Android 14 widgets. You see, I got my dynamic island notifications. That's called Dynamic Spot. That's a dope app. If you got a Galaxy phone, I highly recommend it. Okay, let's go through the settings real quick. Now here's all your quick toggles. This is One UI 6.1, kind of updated, okay? Samsung Dex, everything that you need. And if you want to, matter of fact, hit that. We can edit these. 
Got a whole bunch more, so you got your always on display, color correction, NFC, performance mode. All right, let's go ahead and drop that right there. You got power share. We got to drop that up there too. S Pen Air Actions, drop that up there too. Secure folders, okay? Everything on deck. Hit done, and you're good. All right, shoes. <laughs> All right, so let's go to performance mode real quick. Let's see where was that. Okay. Ah, she, she was just bumped into me. All right, where we at? Okay, performance mode. Okay. Matter of fact, if you hold down on it, you see we got standard or light. Okay, leave it on standard. Okay, that's when you're doing your little gaming. All right, see, I got all my notifications. I was playing some music. Got your device controls. Let's go to settings. Okay, connections. NFC. Okay, you do have Android Auto. Okay, VPNs, private DNS. Now, this phone is all about AI. A lot of the AI features we can't really test out yet because they're not available, but I'm going to play with this phone for a full week and I'll test as much as I can. Let's see, connected devices. Okay, look at all this stuff. You got Samsung Deck, Smart View, Galaxy Wearable, Smart Things, Android Auto. Okay, this is a nice, concise menu. You got your modes and routines. Okay, very Apple ish. Let's see, sound and vibrations. Okay. Dual stereo speakers. Nice and loud. Okay. Oh, they actually sound pretty good. Okay, the speakers sound pretty good. Let's see, system vibrations. I like to have maximum vibrations. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, you see everything. Okay, vibrate for incoming uh, shoes, bro. All right, let's see, uh, sound quality and effects. Okay, so you got Dolby Atmos. Okay, you got Dolby Atmos for gaming. Of course, you got your EQ. I like to just have mine's crazy. But you do your thing. I, I like mine's like that. You can upscale your music. You got adapt sound, okay? No need to go through all of that. Let's see, and of course you got separate sound for apps. Now this right here, this is so clutch. When you got your phone connected to a Bluetooth speaker, you're not gonna get interrupted. So if you're playing some music and you get a, uh, playing some music and you get a phone call, okay? You get a text message, it's not gonna play through the Bluetooth speaker. I love that feature, okay? I hate when you're playing music and you get a text message right at the part of your song that you like. Notifications, anything we need to see here. Lock screen notifications, okay. Pop-up styles if you want. I like detailed, why not? Advanced settings. Oh, look at all this stuff. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. You get it? Unpack. <laughs> the number one dad joke of the year. Let's go to display. Okay, motion smoothness, 120 hertz. You got adaptive, okay. You see, the now this this is so dope, that um dynamic spot. That app, I love it, yo. You see, I got a little ring notification. Okay, I'm not even gonna snooze that. Let's see, uh, anything else we need to see here? Screen mode, vivid. Okay, I'll leave it on vivid, why not? Resolution, now when I first unboxed this phone, I was comparing it side by side with the S23, and I was like, yo, the display actually looks worse. And that's because I had it on Full HD. Now, a lot of people say you can't tell the difference. Trust me, you could tell the difference between Full HD and Quad HD. As soon as I put it on Quad HD, I was like, oh, okay, back to normal. <laughs> back to normal. Okay, camera cutout, you can get rid of that if you want. Okay, you're just gonna have more bars on the top. Okay, screen timeout, let's get and leave that on 10 minutes. Edge panels, okay. I'm, okay, I'm, 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 I'm trying not to file shoes. We got the edge panels right here. Okay. I got the reminders. This is my, uh, uh, <laughs> what do you call that? The uh, clipboard. That's the clipboard. This is my apps right here. People. Okay. Smart select. Okay. Bunch of tasks. Okay, touch sensitivity, you can turn that on if you're rocking a screen protector. And the good thing about this phone having a flat panel, now you're not gonna have any issues finding a good screen protector. That's a huge plus. Okay, battery, you got power saving mode if you want. Okay, there's your reverse wireless charging, show battery percentage, battery information. Okay, now we still got the 45 watt fast charge, I mean, we're gonna talk about that in the full review. I don't like that though. I you get your checklist ready for the things that I don't like. Wallpapers and styles. Now you got a bunch of different wallpapers to choose from. 
I actually have a live wallpaper that I use. This is from my transparent weather. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that one. Now, a lot of people have been asking me what app do I use for the weather? It's called Transparent Weather. Where is it at? This one right here, Transparent Weather. So if you go to the App Store, download this one. That is a, a paid version and a regular version. I think with the paid version, this is where you get the nice uh, wallpapers. Okay, now it's a bright sunny day right now, but if it was snowing or cloudy, it was it's actually gonna change. Okay, so where was we? Let's go to, okay, so a bunch of different wallpapers. Let's see, now these are the interactive ones. Okay, that one is cool. Basically just a bunch of different colors of the interactive ones. No need to go through those. Graphical, colors, wallpaper services. But of course, if you go to Galaxy Themes, you're gonna find a bunch of different ones. Let's see, what did I, I had this one right here too. This is one that I actually downloaded. Let's go ahead and um, click on that one. Okay, well, I look, face unlock actually working. You see that one right there? That one is pretty dope. Okay, so we'll leave that one. And we still got the live wallpaper. Okay, so that's the wallpapers and styles. Themes, of course. Now, if you want the best themes, like for always on displays or wallpapers, whatever you want, my, my advice, just go to top and hit paid. All right, the paid ones are gonna be the dope ones. This is the one that I downloaded earlier. And you get, you get a little preview right there if you wanna see what they look like before you buy it. All right, so those are dope, but you got some free ones if you want also, okay? All right. Shoes! Ah! All right, so that's the themes right there. Let's see, um, bro. Let's see, home screen. <laughs> this is the home screen. Okay, anything we need to see here? Not, nothing really with that. Always on displays. Now, lock screen and always on display. You got extend lock, okay? Now, basically what this is, you're gonna get on body detection, trusted places or trusted devices. So if you don't wanna keep putting your biometrics in, you can have it unlocked while it's in your pocket or when it's close to you. Okay, we got always on displays. Okay, bunch of different ones to choose from. Let's see, uh, show lock green wallpaper. Now, we'll leave that on right there. Anything we need to see. You know, that's it, that's it for that. I'm, 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 I'm gonna try to make this a little bit quicker. Let's see, anything else we need to see here? Widgets. Okay, now you do have some widgets. So we'll do weather, today's schedule, digital well-being, smart things. Throw everything up there, why not? Okay, so a bunch of widgets on deck. Let's see, anything else we need to see? Security and biometrics. Now you do have the uh, lost, uh, lost device protection, app security. Okay, get a bunch of updates, all your permissions. Okay, this is a full security suite right here. Okay, turn on app protection. We'll play with that later. Okay, uh, let's see anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Let's see anything else, where was we? Okay, location, nothing to really see there. Safety and emergency. Earthquake alerts, okay. Wireless emergency alerts. Accounts and backup, Google service. Let's go to advanced features. Okay, advanced intelligence. Okay, we got the Samsung keyboard interpreter, Samsung notes, voice recorder. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all seen the um, unpacked event. There's a lot of AI capabilities on this phone. I'm dying to try out this translation stuff. Let's go to labs. Let's see what's new on labs. Okay, multi-windows, dark mode apps. Photo, shoes just jumped on my shoulder. Photo ambient wallpaper. Okay, that. <laughs> Get a cat, they said. It, it, it'll be fun. Get a cat. That's what they told me. Okay, so we got the photo wallpaper. I'm not even editing this stuff out. Why not? Okay, let's see. Full screen and, and split phone, pop up, split phone. Okay, basically the same labs. Let's see. Side button. Okay. Double press, quick launch your camera, world star hip hop, oh, or you can have it open an app. I like to have my power off menu, okay? Cat hairs all over the place. Let's see, motions and gestures, lift to awake, I need that. Double tap to turn the screen on. Okay, alert when the phone picked up, so if you got your phone in scumbag mode and you get a message, when you pick it up, you get a little alert. Mute with gestures, okay, that's pretty dope. Palm swipe to capture. I'll go through all of this stuff more in detail when I do the full review. Screenshots and recording, video call effects. Now this phone, you can actually take your photos and post them on Instagram with this phone now. I, I actually feeling that. Let's see, uh, digital well-being, nothing to see there really. Okay, let's see, device care. 
Bunch of stuff going on with this phone, okay? $1,300, it better be. Apps, general management, accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is on deck. Software updates, tips and tricks about phone. Let's see. Yep, okay. Dual SIM slots available. Let's see. Tips and user guide. Okay, basically everything's everything. Now, let's go through the camera real quick. Let's take a quick white shoes shot. Let's see a quick point and shoot. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see the uh, different sh shooting modes. All right, so we got portrait mode. Now we can actually change the focal length. I like that, okay. You got photo mode, wide angle, all the way up to 100 times scumbag zoom, extra scummy. Okay, videos, 8K, 30 frames per second. 4K, 60 frames per second. On the front, you got 4K, 60 frames per second. Now for videos, you got all the way up to 20 times zoom, or you can do wide angle. Let's see, now we got pro mode, pro video. Okay, you got night mode, food, panorama, slow motion, hyperlapse, portrait video. That's your cinematic mode like you got on your iPhone. You got dual record, front and back, and you got single take. Now you got Bixby Vision and AR Zone. So this camera is pretty much gonna be amazing. I think we all know that already. Anything else we need to see here? And that's pretty much it. Let's do a quick, uh, matter of fact, I'm not gonna do any testing until I do the full review. Oh, matter of fact, let's do one, we'll do one test. All right, so we go to Instagram. Let's go to my, my Instagram real quick. Let's see if we can, okay, so we got a little BMW shot, right? So we'll try this. Let's get in circle this. And see what comes up. Okay, BMW M5. Okay, wow, this is the, that that's a dope, that's a dope little feature right there. Without having to leave the app, that's pretty sick. All right, so when you scroll through Instagram and you see something that you want to see, let's see if now. Of course, when I'm getting ready to end the video, my boiler turns off. It, you know, it, 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 that, that's Murphy's law right there. Yeah. Okay, check this out. So we'll try this from one of our favorite case companies. <laughs> Okay, there it is. That's a nice feature right there. I, I see myself using that a lot. Now, we also got the stickers. Okay, so let's let's try that real quick. Let's go to gallery. Let's see. Um, look, we made a little sticker right there. We'll go to tech. Let's go to messaging. Let's, um, let me start up a quick message. Hold up. Let me type in something. Okay, let's see if we can post that. Let's see. Matter of fact, we'll do it like this. Oh, look, somebody sent me a message. Hold up, we hold up. Somebody sent me a message. <laughs> Who is that? I don't even know. Let's see. Um, yeah, now I, I got I got to figure out how to do that, how to do the stickers. But um, you see, okay, save as a sticker. Oh, matter of fact, okay, we'll do it like this share okay let's go to messaging oh, okay matter of fact we'll test right here oh look at that <laughs> now i know y'all apple mafia hitmen at home saying oh we've been doing that on iphones i know i know i know that's pretty dope i don't even know who this is but <laughs> this is pretty cute let's see if we can um okay that's pretty dope all right, now, of course, S Pen. Let's get in and check this out. Call Mike. 347 3312. Hit save. I love that. Okay, look, got your S Pen. This way you won't walk away and forget your S Pen. Got it. Okay. Allow, let's check the air actions. Okay, look, you see I'm getting notifications from that app. Okay, hello. Hello. Okay. Done. Okay, enjoy your S Pen. Will do. All right, let's see the different air actions. Okay, so for media, you got your play and pause, volume up and down, wop, all right, skip and reverse tracks. All right, when you're taking your photos, this is something that, an uh, 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 underrated feature right here, Okay, look at that. 
Now, if I'm using my front facing camera and I'm out at dinner, all I gotta do is prop up my phone like this, whoever I'm having dinner with, and we wanna get a dope selfie, use the S Pen. Now I can have the S Pen behind my back. Like right now it's all the way behind my back and I'm taking my photos. You know, this is one of the reasons why the Galaxy, the uh, Bluetooth S Pen is my favorite cell phone feature. It's not just for the videos, it's not just for taking notes, it's for the camera, it's, just, it's really for the camera. That's how I get those amazing selfies. <laughs> let's see, anything else we need to see here? Uh, let's see, look, now you hover over this, you see you don't have to touch the screen, just hover over it. I'm really loving the slab design though, I, the no curves, I love that. Okay, just feels a lot better. And also, if you notice, the home screen does rotate. Okay, so if you get in your car, rotate your home screen just like that. Now I'm gonna save um, some, let's see, that, that, that sticker was, that, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. Let's, let's try one more thing. Okay, we got speaking, let's see. Oh, matter of fact, little search right there. This is gonna be so epic once I really get the hang of it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do the full review, but you already know, I'm gonna tear this phone apart from top to bottom, okay? I got a whole list of things that I like and a few things that I don't like, and we're gonna cover everything. Anyway, next up, we got the Oppo Find X7. Okay, that's coming up tomorrow. But as of today, it's all about the Samsung Nights. This phone right here. Now, 1,300 bucks. I know, I said I was gonna end the video. 1300 bucks. Good Lord. That's a lot of money. Okay. But at least you're getting seven years of updates. And at this price, you might want to keep this phone for two to three years. Okay. Now at this price, I think Samsung kind of backed this off in the corner. Now you can't change the design. Okay. You can't change the design. Now, after you drop a phone for 1300 bucks and you give me seven years updates, you don't want next year's phone to come out with a camera facing this way. Now your phone looks outdated. So I think that's a kind of a smart move to keep the patterns on the back exactly the same, just like uh, you're seeing over there at the uh, Apple Mafia Committee. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys alive. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Glossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm at Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beamer. Enterprise. Energy. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money made all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.